The images show the royals in informal settings which the public is rarely allowed access to and are part of a collection being sold off by Mr. Scott's assistant Judy Appleby, to whom he left them when he died in 1986. The pictures are not annotated, Penzance-based auctioneer David Lay could not date them precisely when they were taken. This picture shows a rather pensive-looking princess and countess of Snowden alongside Lord Snowdan, whom she was married to for nearly 20 years. The princess first met photographer Anthony Armstrong Jones at a supper party in 1958 and married him at Westminster Abbey on May 6, 1960. News of her engagement had taken the British press by surprise as she had taken care to conceal her romance from reporters. The ceremony was the first royal wedding to be broadcast on television, attracting viewing figures of 30 million worldwide. More than 2,000 guests were invited for the wedding ceremony, with Queen Ingrid of Denmark and the King and Queen of Sweden among the foreign royalty that attended. In 1961, Prince Margaret's new husband officially took up the title of Lord Snowden. The couple had two children David Viscount Lindley born on November 3, 1961 and Lady Sarah born on May 1, 1964. But on March 19, 1976, Princess Margaret and Lord Snowden publicly acknowledged that their marriage had broken down, and on July 11, 1978, their divorce was finalized. It was the first divorce of a senior member of the British royal family since Princess Victoria Maglita of Edinburgh in 1901. Princess Margaret died aged 71 at King Edward Vyas Hospital in London on February 9, 2002, and was laid to rest six days later within the Royal Vault at St George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. Among the other extraordinary unseen pictures are those of Prince Charles meeting the cast of US television show MASH and the Queen in a relaxed group with Lord Louis Mountbatten at a horse show. Another fascinating image shows a young Prince Andrew, aged about 12, stood opposite his future wife Sarah Ferguson, while his younger brother Prince Edward plays with the Queen's niece Sarah Armstrong Jones, now Lady Sarah Chatto. Commenting on the photos, Mr. Lay said, During my many years as an auctioneer, we have handled quite a few photographic collections, but this is undoubtedly one of the most remarkable archives I have ever seen. In the UK and indeed many other parts of the world, the fascination with the British royals is unwavering and here we have an archive that documents four decades of their lives. The breadth and quality of the images is superb so really it is unparalleled in my experience.